People are reminding me that my cousin is going to be in the second part of Adonis Paul's movie. I'm aware. I saw the comment. I know. And I know exactly what he's going to say. He's going to tell the world about my rock bottom. He's going to tell everybody about my drug use. And my theft. And he's going to make everybody hate me. For my rock bottom for the four years that I was on drugs and alcohol and messed up. And he's going to say, oh, well, yeah, I had problems with alcohol, too, but I got over it. But he's not going to tell y'all that he got over it with the love and support of a caring family. He's not going to tell y'all that he fell into alcohol addiction even with a loving, caring family. But he's going to judge me for it when I did not have that. And this is why I say nobody is ever going to believe my story. Now that that movie's out. Because my story is real. My life is real. My pain is real. But because somebody else says no, it's not. Everybody believes it's not. No. There are so many comments saying that I bring this on myself so it's all my own fault. How? How did I bring it on myself when... How, did I ask to be born neglected in a car to a drug addict? Did I ask to spend 18 years listening to my father beat my mother? Did I ask to be molested as a child and raped as a teenager? Did I ask to be told that I was disgusting and ugly and that nobody would ever love me? Did I ask for my own family to despise me and if i did how how when i was a child did i ask them to hate me <laughs> abusers never accept that they are abusive. There are people in prison right now for murdering their children who will say that they loved their children and would never hurt them. That's why going to my family to discredit my life is so hurtful because they're not going to be honest I was honest. I told my life and I was telling the truth. But because these people that are better off than me want me to stop telling the truth, they can call in and they can tell lies and judgments and criticize. Just to shut me up. To make sure that nobody will ever believe me nobody will ever believe that my father was a monster nobody will ever believe that my husband was a monster nobody will ever believe me because the people that did this to me say it's not it didn't happen no we 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 didn't do that we always loved her we didn't withhold the inheritance and give $150,000 while she was literally living in a truck to somebody else. That didn't happen. No, these people, they just love. There was a reason that my grandmother left everything to me in her will. There was a reason 
that Kathy was written out of her will. There was a reason that Kathy barely contacted her mother for a decade. <sighs> And everybody is just going to ignore that. <sighs> I'm not dying fast enough, you know. I've gone from about 300 pounds to 130, but it's simply not fast enough. I'm not. just want to die faster because I know that there is never going to be anything in this world for me. There is never going to be any acceptance or love or compassion. People are going to continue saying that I ask for this. I, I want this. I wanted the childhood that I had. I wanted 18 years of headlights. That was my choice, right? <laughs> and because other people can get better and move on, that means that it's my fault if I can't. Regardless of whether the situations are different, They're just going to keep saying that my tears aren't even real. <sighs> Nothing's real, right? <sighs> Nothing's real. <sighs>